it's Kristen with Simply Stewart, and I'm back with another Costco haul. I got crazy hair, sorry. Um, we just got home from our homeschool evaluations, and it's it's been one of those days. We spent the whole day outside um, at the park and being, you know, hot and sweaty, so my hair's what it is. Anyways, um, we went to Costco this weekend and got our big haul for our groceries. Now, it wasn't quite six weeks. It was actually five uh, when I checked out the calendar to see when we should be going again, I realized that the six week mark fell on uh, Mother's Day weekend. And so not just myself, but we have my um, my own mother and my stepmother and my mother in law. And then I am blessed enough to have grandparents still around. And so holiday weekends are just too crazy for us. There was definitely no way we were getting um, a big trip in to go to the city and do our grocery shopping. And so we decided that we would go this past weekend instead. So we did go and I did film the haul for you guys. But by the time we got there and got back um, on, we had to go on a Sunday instead of a Saturday, which is atypical for us, but we are in the midst of soccer season. And so this will be the only haul that falls during soccer season. So we had to go on a Sunday and with school the next day and work. Um, it, it was just late. We had to get everybody to bed. So I did film that for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and drop that clip in here in a minute for you guys. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Um, what you're about to see is a mostly healthy grocery haul. Everybody has their different definition of healthy, but we try to really stay away from the mainstream foods. We do have some packaged foods in there, but most of them, um, you can like you can read all of the ingredients. We don't get things with like preservatives. We do a little bit of sugar. There are some things that we do sugar in, um, but I don't make anything at home with sugar, and so it's just those few prepackaged things that already have sugar, and that's probably the worst ingredient in those packaged items. So um, that is what you will be seeing. We are a family of six with four homeschooled um, children, and so we eat everything pretty much out of our house. We do not eat out really. Uh, very, very seldom. Like even today, we went um, to our homeschool evals, and I packed homemade Lunchables um, for everybody, myself included. We don't ever eat out, so uh, I shouldn't say never, but very, very, very rarely. Only if we're going out with um, extended family. Our family alone doesn't go out, so uh, we do eat a lot of food at home anyways, and my husband takes his lunch every day, so there is a lot of food. Um, this is about six weeks worth of groceries, and this is primarily everything we will eat except for the fresh fruits and vegetables that we will get um, locally. So whether we run to Aldi or the farmer's market will be opening soon, but not for another like three weeks around here. So um, we just kind of fill in wherever we can for our local produce. Um, and then otherwise, this is the majority of our groceries. So um, and the eggs, if you haven't followed me before, you know that we get um, eggs from the local farmer also. So uh, I will go ahead and drop that clip in here and you guys can see what we got on this trip. All right, guys, so I'm going to start over here with the frozen stuff so we can start getting some of that put away. My husband will come behind me as I film probably and get some of this put away. So um, first we have a bag of the Organic Tropical Blend. This is about 10 bucks, and we use this a lot for our smoothies during the month. And so we got that one, and we also got the Organic Blueberries. Now we use these a lot um, sometimes to eat, but mostly for our blueberry muffins, and I also put them in the pancakes for the kids. These are roughly $8. I'm going to try and remember some of the prices for you guys because a few people asked me in my last um, haul video. So, and then we have the organic broccoli. Now these do have steamable bags. Um, we do not use a microwave, so you do not have to do them that way. We just open up the inside bags and toss them into the steamer or into the oven um, or even into our toaster oven. It has lots of settings that we can use to like roast and so we put them in there. And all of the frozen veggies there are roughly like around seven to eight dollars. So we got one, two, yeah, three of those. So that'd be 12 of the individual bags. And then we got two big bags of green beans. We are out of green beans from the garden. So I'm very sad about that. We got one bag last month um, as we were kind of finishing up what was in the garden. And now we are just done. Everything is completely gone. And we finished the bag from Costco last month. So we got two of those. I believe all under that. 
just ice packs. And then we got, this is funny, my kids eat these as a snack also, so most of these get eaten as a snack, much less than like an actual vegetable, like as a part of a meal. Um, but they love them so much that we go through them like crazy. So we actually got three of these because I want to make, um, dinner, I don't know, sometime this past week and I actually was completely out of peas. I had bought two of these last time and my kids had eaten all of them. Um, they just kind of snuck in the freezer and got them out. So we bought three of those for this trip. And then we are done making hot chocolate, um, but we got the same amount of milk. I am able to make like some frosty type. Um, if you're familiar with Wendy's, we don't eat there, um, but they have like a little chocolate frosty. And so I kind of make something similar to that. Um, so I did go ahead and get the milk. I don't know if we're going to do that weekly like we did the hot chocolate over um, the winter for snack. Um but we'll see. Either way, we go through quite a bit of um, milk. But again, these each have three cartons in them. And we use this for about six weeks. This will be all of the milk besides the coconut milk. So that is that. And I do not remember the price. My husband just took the receipt downstairs. So when he comes back upstairs, if he can find it for me, I'll let you know. And then these are a 15 bag, um, pound bag of potatoes. And we use these um, throughout the month. We get a lot of our potatoes from the Amish. But we were running a little bit low. And so I picked this one up. These are about $10 a bag. And then we got some extra. So this um, is not part of our grocery budget, but um, honestly, if you've watched my hauls, we don't get a whole lot of clothes there. Usually, occasionally, like a pair of pajamas or something for the kids, but everything we got today was adult-sized. So I found these um, Adidas. They're like just a little hooded, long-sleeve, um, thin shirt, and they had them for – oh, there's a string on that one – they had them for $5. I think they were like $4.97 a piece for ladies, but only in sizes small, extra small, small, and medium. So that worked perfect for me. I'm assuming they're trying to close them out from like the winter season. Um, and so they were really cheap. And I figured I would, um, I will probably wear those a little bit, but I will go ahead and set them aside for next winter. For five bucks a piece, I thought that was a great price. And then they had some nice, um, I guess, the, oh, this was the Puma shirt. These are really lightweight. I don't know um, what the material are, but they aren't like just a, a regular cotton t-shirt because um, my husband's not a fan of wearing black like during the summer a whole lot just because it does get hot if we're going like to the zoo or something as a nice shirt. But he picked this up and he said, that is really thin. I don't think I'll have any problems with that. So we did pick that one up. I think that one was $13.99. And then they had these t-shirts, which were pretty nice. I thought this was pretty nice for, um, like, Memorial Day and all of those things that are coming up. These were each $9.99. And they had this one. And I re he really likes green, so we don't find nice green shirts very often. And so you got that one. And then there's one more under it. There. It says Land of the Free, Home of the Brave. So all really nice with the holidays coming up. We can wear picnicking and such. And then on to the great stuff, the produce. So these are, uh, hey, since you're up here, you want to find the price of the almond milk for me? These are roughly $5 a set. So we got one thing of baby spinach. We use this in just about everything. I cut this up and I put it in my kids' eggs. Um, we use it just like diced up with some chicken and mushrooms as a meal for a quick lunch. We put it in all of our smoothies. So we use this a ton. Um, and this seems to stay better much longer than the Aldi brand one does. Um, so we got one of those. $9. $9. Okay, so he said the milks were $9 a piece. So, And these also for something, almost $5. We got two spring mix. One for me, one for my husband. We will both eat salads um, this week for lunch, which I have to hurry up and make because usually we shop on Saturday and it is Sunday, so I have to make all of his lunch for the week. <laughs> and then we got a set of avocados. We tried these last time for the first time, and we found some things that we love with them, not just frozen. So I had mentioned this before. A it's been quite a while since my Costco carried the frozen um, chunks of avocado, and I would put those in our smoothies. 
and we could tolerate them that way, but we didn't really care for the taste of this. But we found some like avocado pudding and different things that we do like with these. So I did go ahead and pick these up. I'm a little bit bummed, honestly, because we're going to go to our local grocery today. And we looked it up afterwards. And my husband mentioned that they were cheaper there um, because they're only a dollar a piece because of Cinco de Mayo. Um, like the holiday coming up, they have them, you know, on sale because of that. And they were $7.99 at um, Costco's. But... It is what it is. We live very far, so I'm not taking them back. <laughs> and then we got a bag of Brussels sprouts. This is new to us. Um, they're just not something I really eat, but a friend of mine shared that she um, dices them up when she does, like, her spinach and chicken um, and mushrooms. She uses the same seasonings and stuff as I do, and so I thought that that would be fun to try, and so we're going to try that. And when I mentioned getting that, my husband saw the asparagus. I do like asparagus, um, but he always said he didn't, and he didn't really want to have it. And so we just don't buy it. Like if I'm at somebody's house and they're serving asparagus, I eat it. Or if we go out and they have it, um, which we don't really eat out anymore at all, I would go ahead and get asparagus. Um, but I never buy it and actually make it myself. So he said, why don't we get asparagus? And I said, absolutely. So... We did go ahead and pick up a bag of that as well. Um, and then we got a big bag of the apples. And these run about $9. They last my husband almost all month. Um, he takes one a day just to work. And we just keep them in our extra refrigerator. And as long as they're refrigerated, he seems to not have a problem with them. Um, they may last longer because they're not organic. Uh, but I've, if you've followed my hauls before, he doesn't choose to buy the organic ones when we go to Costco for himself. And that is fine because he's an adult and can choose what he wants. So um, you'll see later in my Aldi haul that I do get organic apples for my kids and myself. So then we got three of the pineapples this time. Um, they were $2.99 a piece and they are nice and big, which is awesome. And so we will cut those up and put them in the fridge and they will be part of my kids' breakfast all week long um, with their pancakes and their eggs. And we got our big bag of carrots. These are roughly um, $5, $5 maybe? I can't remember. For an eight pound bag. Um, now when we got out to the car, I we were loading and I actually noticed there was like a half rotten carrot in the bottom. And so I took it back in and they were really easy about exchanging it. Like I didn't even have to do anything. They're like, just go get another one. And when I came back up, I said, do I have to do anything? They said, nope, just leave. I said, okay. So, um, but last time we've gotten these almost every trip. We go through a ton of carrots. And last time we went, we got towards the bottom of our bag and they were actually rotten, which is completely unlike the carrots that we get for ourselves there usually. And I'm wondering if the same thing happened. I'm wondering if there was like one rotten carrot in the bottom that we didn't catch. Um, and so it started to go bad quicker. So, but we did go ahead and exchange that. So if you've ever like come out and noticed something wrong with the box or with produce or anything, know that it is super simple to run back in and just exchange it. Then we got a bag of fresh green beans. We're going to go ahead and use these this week. I prefer fresh, um, of course, but we don't have Costco anywhere close to us. So I do get the frozen organic ones um, to put in the freezer for later because nowhere around here carries um, fresh green beans that are organic anywhere locally so we do have those and let's see down here we have the organic mushrooms we go through mushrooms like crazy my um, father-in-law actually went into the city and got them I don't like at a special market or something we live far outside the city and brought home a ton like a week and a half ago and my husband said did you use all those and I said absolutely you don't realize how much how many mushrooms we go through so those are roughly um five dollars for the container and you can see they're like 24 ounces there so about a pound and a half and then these were $5.99. I was so excited to see berries that were a half decent price and they were organic. That is the, um, Costco is like the only place that we can find organic berries for a decent price. Our local area hasn't even started carrying them and when they do, they will be outrageous. So we did pick these up. They're not something that we get very often, um, just when we can actually make a Costco trip. So we will go ahead and we will enjoy those um, while we have them. <laughs> I'm sure they won't last very long. We won't have them very long. Uh, we have been, we don't eat a lot of dairy in general, but we have been doing the not so great shredded cheese. 
um, for a couple things, um, and mostly for our pizzas. And so I figured we would pick this up because it doesn't have all the, like, the cellulose and all that in it. And we do very little dairy to begin with. Um, so, and it is sliced. I do believe this was like seven, I don't know, seven sixty nine maybe for it. So I will try that out. I'm super excited about that because I've been trying to get rid of, um, the worst food, you know, kind of thing as we go on our journey here. And then we picked these up, which were something that was new. I believe these were roughly like 13 or $14. Um, they are thicker. If you were familiar with like the chompsticks, uh, for Trader Joe's, they are thicker than that. And they are much longer than that. Um, so they are really nice. There's 12 in a pack. And here you can see ingredients pretty clean. And so they won't, they're not shelf stable. So they, I don't know that they'll last as long, but I don't think that'll matter. I think my husband, he is off next week working um, on our basement. And so I think he will be snacking on these. Plus I've been working um, if you follow my channel, I resell on eBay, and so it's the time of year when I'm going out and doing a lot more sourcing because of yard sales and stuff. So these are the types of things that are nice to toss um, in to like a lunchbox for us, and on the go we can have some protein that is um, a really good protein and not something that is garbage. So, And then we have this. This is probably not one of the not better things. Um, I personally don't really eat this, but my kiddos do, and it's one of the few... Um, We've actually only got it one other time, and they really liked it. It was, I think it was roughly $12 and some change, but it's a nice thing to have on hand. It's not the healthiest by any means, but it is better than, um, you know, grabbing any kind of food to go. We don't eat out, like, at all anymore. And so every once in a while, I just, you know, we're running late on time and don't realize that we have... Not, it's, you know, not enough time to make dinner, so that is better than ordering junk. So we do have those. I will let my husband take those and put them in the freezer. And then we have the pulled pork. Again, same thing. I don't, um, I don't eat pork, but my family does like this. And so it's very simple. You just, um, literally you can keep it in the fridge for a very long time, but then you can just heat it up quickly and it's made in like 15 minutes. So let me see if I can find the ingredients for you. Whoop, focus. There you go. So pretty simple ingredients. And the last, um, I guess, cold thing, and I'll let my husband take some of this stuff out of my way, is the organic turkey breast. Um, I like this kind because there is next to nothing in it. Um, it's literally just turkey breast. Uh, it does have sea salt, but... And... Yeah, who cares? Sea salt's good. And then um, we actually currently have some of these in the freezer, but we are getting to the season where we will be going um, out and about a lot more, going on things like field trips, going on picnics, going um, just going, 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 going to the zoo, whatever. And so these are really great to throw um, in like a little container and make a homemade Lunchable for my kiddos on the go so that we don't have to eat junk while we are out. And I lied. I have one more cold thing. Um, the tent, and you can see we broke it open to fit it in the cooler on the way home. But the tent and grass-fed sausage, we actually have this in the freezer. Um, and I had no intentions of buying it because we have plenty. Um, but this, we went through and, you know, when you go to Costco and they catch you on all of the little demo places. Well, usually when we go through, we just skip through all the demo places because we don't eat the types of foods they're demoing. Well, today they were de demoing tentons and I went, hmm, I think we need an extra one of these just because we're going to make these for dinner this week for sure. So we did pick up one extra of those. They are roughly $13 a package, but they are 100% grass fed and amazing. So if you were looking for something for your cookouts this summer, I would highly recommend those. Um, and then back there, my husband's favorite junk food. And when your junk food, yeah, you are, yay, he was so excited to stock up because he is out. Um, when your junk food is, you know, way better than it used to be, whatever, it is what it is. So it's the organic tortilla chips, um, and he has enough that will last him the next six weeks. And maybe longer because we went through all of them last time, but we also had a birthday party where we served a ton of people. So um, we went through extras then. 
and we just ran out. So, uh, and then we got these caveman bars. If you are unfamiliar with these, they did not have them last time. And I literally like almost cried and we went this time and they had them again. So I was super excited. They do have agave syrup, which in general, we don't consume that. Um, but in these, I'm okay with that. It's not something that's horrible. Um, I prefer the cashews. My kids prefer the coconut. Um, and so I'm able to take these again. I said that I'm, you know, into sourcing again. And so I'm on the go first thing in the morning on Saturday and gone, you know, a good chunk of the day. And these are really great to take on the go either for a snack or if I don't um, have time to have breakfast. If I'm, if my husband works and I have to, you know, take care of getting the kiddos ready and um, set up for soccer because my mother-in-law will keep them sometimes for like an hour or two and then my husband will come home and take them to soccer practice so they pretty much or soccer games and so they have to be absolutely ready I don't have time to like make a full breakfast on those mornings and so these are great for me to grab and go on those kinds of days so and then we got some quinoa which I am super excited to start making in the um, Instant Pot. I just found out that I can make this in the Instant Pot. Yay! Um, and it only takes, obviously, if anybody uses the Instant Pot, you know that it takes longer to um, build the pressure, but as far as actual cooking, it only takes a minute. So I want to start incorporating this more um, for myself, and so I was excited to pick that up also just for dinners. Um, we do a lot of potatoes, and I'm okay with that. I shouldn't say we do a ton, but we do do a good bit of potatoes um, as dinner. We don't ever do them for any other meal, really, um, but I'd like to maybe do quinoa one or two nights a week and less potatoes, so for the whole family, not just myself, so. Um, and then we got avocado oil, and if you have not heard my rant on this, it is just amazing. Um, this bottle is, oops, sorry, it's not focusing very well for you there, about one liter, and it is only $9.99. You cannot find that price anywhere else that I have seen. Um, definitely not locally for me, definitely not on anything like Vitacost, and even Trader Joe's, the, they do have one that's like $8.99, but the size of the bottle is excessively smaller. So um, that is the best price that I have been able to find that. And then the almond butter, which I know is about $7.99. Sorry, some of these prices I have memorized because we buy them all the time. And some of them are new and my husband walked away with that receipt again. So the almond butter, I like that it is um, clean. Oops, maybe the other side here. We can get to the ingredients for you. It is just roasted almonds. So we have several jars of this downstairs, but um, I do use this in my baking um, for the muffins my kiddos like and sometimes for their banana bread as well. So I did pick up one more of those just in case. I can't remember how many we're going through. So it is what it is. And then we grabbed an organic peanut butter. Again, I love this stuff. Um, I think this is, I can't even guess. I can't remember how much this is because we don't buy this as often. And it's just the organic peanuts, which I really, really love the fact that it's organic peanuts. Those um, are not as easy to find. And there's nothing else in it but sea salt. So no sugar or anything added to it. It's just um, great peanut butter. And if you are switching over to a healthier lifestyle and you're having a hard time with your kids Eating it without the sugar, one of the things I did in the beginning for my kids, and now they like it just how it is, but as like kind of a step down, was we would use um, a little bit of this. We put it in like a smaller individual dish, and then we would put a little dash of honey in it and mix it up, and they just, they love that. So it was kind of a nice little step down. Um, they will sometimes eat it like that, and a lot of times just eat it plain now. And then coconut oil, another thing that is just an absolutely amazing price there. This container is about $13.99. You cannot find this price anywhere else. Um, there you go. It's 84 fluid ounces. So I usually find a similar price on Amazon when it gets to be a good deal for about um, 54 ounces. So this is this is a great price um, if you have a Costco by you. I before we went to Costco, I spent an arm and a leg on just avocado and coconut oil. So, And then this is another thing they were actually demoing this time, but uh, the chips they were demoing with them weren't great, so we skipped it. But um, I did grab another set of salsa. I don't, um, now that I got home and looked in my cupboard, I don't think I actually need one. But 
you know, it's shelf stable, so it will sit around without too much of a problem. I just need to figure out how to make my own salsa this summer after our garden starts going more. And there you go. So that gives you an idea what the ingredients are. And then we have some of our, like, more packaged foods here. So the first thing we have are these. Um, my kiddos like these, but I, I honestly really like these. So they're just um, something to kind of hang around. And if I'm really getting a craving for, like, some junk, this is a great thing to have. Um, they're not perfect ingredients, but... They are pretty decent. They do have the rice syrup in there and some cane sugar. But I like to know what all of my ingredients are. That's that's an important thing um, that I'm working on fixing what we don't know. But um, like I said, I can read all of those. I know what they are, so there could be worse things we could be snacking on. When these are our junk foods, I'm going to consider it okay for now. And here are the ingredients on the coconut clusters. And so these are really amazing. Um, I, the only thing you could really do with this is get rid of the sugar and make them sprouted. But otherwise, I think they're great. My, I have three kiddos who really love cashews and one who doesn't care for them as much. So she tends to use these um, when we have snacks that include nuts in them. So they'll eat raw cashews and she will have these. Although all of my kids do like those. And then these were on sale. These were um, for maybe a little over $4. And so I grabbed a set. My kids eat these. Um, here we go. My kids eat either these or the Paleo Bites. Um, they, they just grab one of them, and you can see how tiny the Paleo Bites, I mean, in essence, are. They're not huge. They grab one of these usually every morning with their apples um, as a snack. Around 9.30 or 10 o'clock every morning, we will cut an apple for each person, and they will grab one of these and throw it in the bowl, and we will go sit and have circle time together, which is when we do our homeschool, um, like, together activities, like our science and our history class and read-alouds and those types of things. And so the, this is what they go ahead and they have um, for that morning snack time. Since we usually eat breakfast at, like, 7 o'clock and we don't eat lunch until a little bit later. Um, I guess maybe it's just the front there. thought... There were other ingredients, maybe, but... Oh, now I guess I see the honey there. I was going to say, it couldn't just possibly be the nuts, but... Or the seeds, I'm sorry, but, yeah. There is honey, so... Those are an awesome snack food. If your um, Costco has those, you should definitely try them out. I wasn't sure if my kids would like them. We picked them up... Um, it was, like, in our early trip for the year, maybe, like, January-ish... And I figured for sure that they would be a one-time thing and then they would probably be gone because they try a bunch of new things out um, around that time of year because everybody's starting on diets and resolutions and all of those types of things. But here we are. It is May and they are still there. So I'm super excited about that. Do you have that receipt? Yeah. Can you find the price on those paleo bites for me? And these were another thing that were on sale. So they, I think they were roughly $8. Um... These are another quick and easy thing that we do. Maybe not perfect, but way better than going um, out to eat or ordering fast food. And there we go. There's the ingredients for you. Ten dollars. Ten dollars for the paleo bites. Thank you. And so we got those. We usually go through about three of these. Um, and I, again, we do not use a microwave. So I just simply open the pouches, add a little bit of water into a skillet, and we heat it up. Um, I will saute a bunch of vegetables before that. And so we usually add broccoli. Go ahead. I'll wait till you We usually add some like broccoli and peas and mushrooms. And then I'll just um, dice up some cooked chicken and toss it in there and it's a really quick kind of like a stir fry for us that I don't have to put much time into so again with summer coming up and it being busy um it'll be nice to have those on hand and with them being on sale I went ahead and picked up an extra one uh so those are quick and easy and we throw coconut aminos in it if you're like us and you are soy free um we don't do like soy protein or soy oil at all um soy leachin we do but if you have done any research on that you understand that it's different um so we 
put the um, coconut aminos in it and it is really good so that is something that we um, do keep on hand for those when we need a quick and easy night and then we got you know a set of coconut milk um, we are still working on switching more to this from the carton to almond milk but um, and we're doing a little bit better all the time but I do like having both on hand currently so we got one of those and then we got a set of olives um, my husband puts these in his um, lunches I will open a can and we usually use about a half a can for his lunches for the week and then I just dump the whole can um, that is left including all of the liquid into a mason jar and throw it in the fridge and it lasts really nice till the next week so we usually get about 12 um, 12 weeks out of these if he's having salads um, every day. So we got those. And then the rice rollers. How much were the rice rollers? I should know this by now. I know. I'm making you work today. He doesn't usually work. He usually goes and sits down. Um, <laughs> but we did get the rice rollers. Um, we have a set of these, but we are coming into Bible school time. And these are something that are super easy for me to send for them to have at Bible school um, for a snack. Because unfortunately around here... The um, snacks that they give them are just junk. Like a lot of times, uh, my personal church isn't too bad, but my kids go to um, Bible school with their cousins and with their aunt and uncles, and um, their Bible schools are just like chips and cookies and all kinds of um, stuff that we don't personally eat. So these are a nice thing that are easy, prepackaged, and um, don't have to be refrigerated that I can easily throw um, in there. As well as if we're going to be gone for the whole day, something like the zoo or something, I can put these um, in my bag for like in the car on the way home. They can have a snack um, if we're going to be getting to dinner a little bit later than we usually do. So we got those. Then we got Simple Mills crackers. Again, we use these for Lunchables. We will use that turkey meat that I shared with you earlier and these. Um, and then make some, I'm sorry, cut up some raw cheese cubes and throw some fruit or veggies in there. And just make a little homemade Lunchable um, in their boxes that they have. And so we made sure we got those. They each have two big bags in them. Um, and I think I actually ordered some of these this month now that I'm thinking about it on um, my subscribe and save. So we should have lots of crackers. <laughs> and then I did grab this. I have never um, grabbed the tea from there. It is Japanese versus Chinese, which what I learned is important. From what I can tell, it is not organic, um, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, the matcha especially comes from... Um, not just the green tea itself, I guess, but it does have the blend of matcha in there. And so it's really important to get that from Japan and not from China. So um, I did pick that up for myself. I've been trying to do a little less coffee and a little more tea, although I love my coffee. So, you know, but I'm not, I don't need it now where I used to need it. Um, I just drink it because I like it. So, and then I got a set of organic raisins. Um, my kiddos like these to snack on, which is awesome because I had tried for years to get them to eat raisins and they wouldn't. And since we have changed our diets, um, they now do enjoy raisins, most of them. So we got those. And then I believe these are roughly $15 a bag. One of these will be for myself and, um, well, myself and my husband, and the other one will be for my father-in-law. Um, he lets us use his truck when we make these big trips a lot of times and asks us to pick things up. And this time he said, nah, don't worry about it. I didn't get my paycheck yet. And I said, you're silly, man. So we went ahead and picked one up for him because he always is um, giving us a hand with something. So he's really a great guy. But here are the ingredients. Oh, there we go, that one. Now, on this side, you will see it has soy sauce in it. I do not partake in those. My husband does, and that is his choice. I wish they would go back to just carrying this kind um, in the big bags, but they don't, um, which is a super big bummer. So I eat the originals. My husband takes the other kind. Usually we don't do any soy, but, you know, he he is a little less particular than I am, so $9. we got those nine dollars. What was I asking you for? Not your rice. Oh, the rice rollers. Yes. All right. So these rice rollers, y'all, nine bucks. And there are I don't know how many there are in this thing either. Thirty-two rollers. So we take two packs every time we go somewhere. My kids each get one, and we take like an orange or something with them as well. So some fruit that's easy to take along with us. 
And then the Dawn down there was on sale for $7 and some change. So it was a nice big bottle. We do not use this ever um, to do dishes with, but I do use it to stain treat my clothes. I make a mixture of that and peroxide. That's what I forgot to get, peroxide. We'll have to stop and get that at our local store. Um, so I do use it for that, and I've also seen it used with the Epsom salts for a weed killer. Now we closed in our... Um, like our little crick area that we had in our backyard. And so I don't know if we will have as much need for weed killer as we did before, but either way, I will have that on hand. So I'm excited to have um, a bigger container instead of having to constantly um, buy just little containers of that. So I shouldn't say constantly. I haven't bought a container forever. This thing will probably last me like a year or two <laughs> if we use it for just um, just the staying treating if we use it for weed killer i don't know how long it'll last and then this is the big like five i don't know five dollar drug maybe i can't remember vinegar it's a really good price whatever it was All right. my husband's supposed to be helping me out with prices now because somebody had asked me to do them and i can't remember them um but we do use oops sorry making you all seasick that is um that is something that we use around the house quite a bit and so that is definitely the, be the best price that you can find on it. You can see down here, it's 1.32 gallons. So it's a nice sized container too. It's not your typical container from the grocery store. And then we got two of the Schmitz. Um, my husband tried these last time I shared. And I was super excited because I didn't think he would ever switch over from his like Old Spice stuff. Um, but he said he actually really likes it. He's had little to no detox, which... Um, Probably is the fact that he did not have aluminum in his last one. And also he's been eating um, pretty clean for um, about a year and a half, two years. Well, about a year and a half now, I guess. So um, so these were, they're $13.99 and then they were $4 off. So they were about $10. Um, so we went ahead and picked up two for two reasons. One, they were on sale. And two, he did say, I don't know if it's the size or what of it, but he did say that he seems to go through these a little bit more quickly than he is going through um, his old stuff. And so I thought it'd be nice with the summer coming up and then being on sale just to pick up um, the extras and store them for now since they are shelf stable. And then we grabbed a thing of bone broth. Uh, when I took my cupboards, I couldn't believe I was almost out of bone broth. I just need to um, make my own, but it's not something I have gotten to yet. And so this will do for now. Um, when I don't use, it has these six little cartons in it. When I don't use the entire carton, I just um, use what I'm going to use. And then I pour um, whatever's remainder into a mason jar and put a lid on it and put it like a plastic lid on it and put it in the freezer so i do have that three dollars for the vinegar three dollars for the vinegar see i was off way off on price because i knew it was super cheap i just couldn't remember what super cheap was anymore because that's i just get it there i won't even look anywhere else now and then we got these they were um they were not on sale they were 14.99 but i was just completely out of freezer bags we do use them for our pancakes and our waffles that we use to freeze um, and then with the upcoming season of gardening coming up, we will be freezing, um, our harvest, um, throughout the year, like our beans and whatnot. So, um, we did get that. And then we got a set of, I think these were around $14 too, a set of triple A batteries just cause we were out of those. So, or sorry, double A's. I said triple A's. I said that store too. I told my husband, we need triple A's. And he goes, no, no, we don't. We need double A's. So. And then the very last two things that we got for the bathroom, very important for us, Epsom salts, um, super important just to get clean, um, no ingredients added, just Epsom salts. And so this box, I believe, is about $8. And then um, this is um, 15, 16 maybe, $16 for the uh, 30 rolls. So we have found that we like this. I don't want to say that I'm a um, toilet paper snob because I'm not, but there are a few toilet papers like Scott that I just cannot use. Um, and this is one that I have, we have no problems with. We do like this. So um, we don't have a septic system, but if you do, it says it's septic safe. So that is everything that we got um, in our Costco haul. And so there you go. That's the total seven twenty. But we did spend roughly um, sixty dollars in clothing, so um, that does make a big difference for us.
Sorry guys, the lighting I know is a little bit weird over here, but um, my kids just got home and they're all kind of crazy from end of the school year stuff, and so I'm in my bedroom trying to hide and film this for you all. Uh, but anyways, that is what we got. Uh, I did share some of the prices. I'm sorry I did not share them all. Um, somebody had asked me in one of my previous Costco hauls to share some of the prices, and so I'm going to try and get better at that. Um, but it's tough when I don't know them all off the top of my head to try and go back and forth with the receipt without making a crazy long video. So um, if there's something specific, though, you guys are looking for the price, please drop a comment down below. And I would be happy to check my receipt and let you know I keep my Costco receipts. So that's not a problem. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, thank you guys for dropping by. I would love for you guys to hit that subscribe button and hang out. I do do um, several grocery hauls. In fact, you guys can keep an eye out. I will have another grocery haul coming up of just my local grocer and Aldi. Um, we also make a trip there and fill in um, what we don't get at Costco for our six weeks. So I will be posting that soon, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.